So for the bay window bus, I wanted to get these jail bars, which I really like the look of. I don't carry a lot of stuff, so you know they're not, you know, functional. Although I do take Rufus to dump every now and then. Um, so maybe. But anyway, for the bay window bus, the side jail bars, they kind of go like this down the uh, down the side of the, diagonally down the window. On the uh, the split window buses, the jail bars go from they go horizontal. They go all the way to the front of this window. So I've already put the uh, rear ones on, and I put the other side, the right side on. So we're going to just do the left side, right? So this edge here, I just kind of lined it up with the bottom of this this edge right here. So I got my gel bars kind of where I want them. I did the rears, I did the rights, this is the left side. For some reason I can't get this spacing to be where I want it, but it's pretty close. So I think we're going to leave it like that. Anyway, this is what I did on the other side as well. I got it where I wanted it as far as the edge, this body line goes, and uh, the edge of the window opening. And I taped it up there, went outside, checked it out, it looked pretty good. And then I just kind of marked it through the tape. Circle. And And just pull it off and drill the holes up. That one is barely visible. Gotta watch that one. So, I ended up using, uh, not using the hardware they gave me. I'm using some stainless steel hardware that I have. any left. Alright. So let me just kind of lay it up there. I'm running out of hardware, but we'll make it work. Hold this thing up there, because if you screw this on before you put the bar in, you'll never get the bar on. So, pull the sucker in. You want it before you, uh, you know, drive them all the way before you go full tilt like a Peterbilt on the damn screw gun. Get it where you want it. Tighten them up. Pretty straightforward.
Now, of course I'm running out of hardware. I got two shorties. And I got two ones that are a little longer. I think I'm going to try the long ones up top. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't even know if these are the same <laughs> grip size. Grip size, but uh, length, width, whatever I'm trying to say in English. Bottom ones. Here, I'll move you over so you can see a little better. There's no real magic to it. For those of you willing to drill a hole in your bus like I am. And just drive them home. So there they are, they're installed now. On this side I was willing to cheat a little bit because I wasn't getting the distance I wanted between the bars because I have all these stickers here so I didn't think it mattered. The back turned out pretty well. If you remember when I got these bars from C, uh, California Import Parts, the way they were shipped, they were bent. I bent them back as good as I could, you know. I figured it's better than going through all the fighting with them. Um, here's the other side. This side turned out really nice and even and that's the most visible side So that looks pretty good and uh, on the inside The only bummer was that I had my uh, NorCal Air Group emblem bolted in right here and uh, Had to remove it so since this is a, supposed to be a uh, license plate topper or something like that, I might put it on the front end off the bumper or something like that. So there you go. There's the jail bars on the right side. And there's the jail bars on the left side. And on the uh, rear hatch. All in all pretty easy, simple to install if you're willing to drill a hole. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.